Welcome back guys to episode, I believe this would be 28 of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Um, in the last episode, we pretty much wrapped up the end of Act 1 on uh, Terrajuma Island. We beat Amber and got the Lyric Badge. And now we're beginning Act 2 with a revisit to um, the events of Chapter 3. Uh, so if you remember everything with Marionette and Indriad, um, we're going back there. Uh, but not in the same way. So this time around, instead of ending up in a dimension where we don't quite know where we are, um, we actually just went back in time 50 years prior to the uh, modern days. So it's pretty surprising to see uh, what the region looked like before everything happened. We got new clothes and everything that we're pretty much going to be rocking for the remainder of the playthrough. Um, if you're enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's see where things go. Table for two. <clears throat> Perfect. Please follow our host to your table. Welcome to Kiyaran Cafe. What can I get for you? There's Melia working up there. I'm going to have the spicy curry, extra cheese. Got it. And what will you have? Something rejuvenating? Robin and Venom had a lovely dining experience at the Kagirin Cafe. Oh man, that freaking hit the spot. Delicious, perfect. What about you? Did you enjoy the food or is my taste just garbo? It's excellent, man. Right? I forgot what you ordered, but the spicy curry was the best. The blend of spices was perfectly balanced. The water was perfectly mediocre. They're therefore staying in the range of perfect. A weird conclusion to come to is nothing can truly be perfect. Oh, here we go. Huh? Oh, it's you, Cannon. I guess you did say you wanted to come down here. Yeah, I love the food here. It's pretty good. Anyway, did you meet up with Melia? No, she's busy, unfortunately. Wish that dork would have been the one to take my order. Dork? That's rich coming from you. Damn. Was that, uh, was that drag necessary? I was just kidding around. I can tell just by the way you talk. You don't take anything seriously, do you? Who the you don't even know her. Who are you? What the fuck is going on here? I said I was kidding around, asshole. You guys don't belong here. You weren't chosen. You're out of place. This isn't a game. People are suffering every day, and you're here acting like this is some kind of game. You want to do this inside the middle of the cafe? Really, kid? Robin, I'm going to kick this little magician's ass if he doesn't stop talking shit. Bro, let me help you. We'll dog him out right now. It's typical. You lean on violence for everything. Silly. No, you're just rude. Sit your ass down and eat your food, freaking white haired edge monster. But I've seen real violence, real fear. You know nothing compared to it. You don't even know what we've gone through. Oh, really? Let me be so honored to show you what violence looks like again. Have you stared a Garatina in the eye twice? A Groudon? A Kyorg? Ugh. And again with the violence. Fine, I'll indulge you. Oh, he brought the Salamence out in the. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Come on out. Sharp. When did Venom get a Charizard? Calm down, Charizard. It's fine. Having trouble controlling your part, uh, Charizard? Pathetic. Are you gonna stand there and be a problem too? Fine, I can take both of you without any problem. Please choose a Pokemon and participate. Oh, snap. Salamence. I need to choose carefully. Everybody choose carefully. Choose the hard counter. Let's get him. We're done. <laughs> Lay down, Cannon. I impossible. Salamis can't be defeated. It went down by my own Pokemon singular attack. The slowest Pokemon. Because my winter is well trained. <clears throat> not bad. Definitely not terrible. I take back what I said before. Your fighting indicates you all have been through actual turmoil. However, that Charizard. 
Char, Char. It's Trent. Yeah, that Charizard is a. Uh... What are you all doing? You can't have a Pokemon battle in here. Phantom, is that Tesla's Charizard? No. Maybe? Perhaps? Freaking Venom, bro. She stole that Charizard. That's why one of the Pokeballs was missing. Did you seriously steal her Charizard after everything she's done for us? Control that thing. Salamis, outrage. Thanks. Now, that's, uh, now that that's settled, you all have to leave. Leave? But yes, you're involved too, Cannon. I know you're troubled, but this is unacceptable. I... All three of you have caused such a scene. Let me at least perform some sort of damage control. Ow, all of you. F fine. Cannon started that shit, man. We were just having a good time, and he's over here making a scene. I don't blame Venom at all. What the frick? I screwed up. I need to find a way to make this up to everyone. It's no use. Robin, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have instigated like that. I won't let it happen again. I mean, yeah, you better. He was rude as heck, man. Just making assumptions about people you don't even know. Who the hell does that kid think he is? Starting something like that. He's lucky Melia kicked us out. I'd have kicked him right in the balls. Nah, I'd kick his teeth in. Charizard gave me a hard time, but I'm sure it was just confused. Poor thing. Well, yeah, it doesn't belong to you. Whatever. Good lunch turned sour. What can you do? Uh, somebody screamed. Whoa, did you hear that? It sounded like it came from the direct uh, that direction. Whoever screamed like that may be in trouble. Could you come back later? I'm analyzing footprints of a poker. <laughs> out of my way. Ah! Yeah, like, what? The entire these people blocking up places talking about fucking footprints. This place is dry at all. I heard screaming. Is everything alright? It's not like. Uh, if not, let's battle anyway. Well, damn. You just said you heard screaming. my screens. <laughs> Edgy lady. Uh, let's look around before we see if there's anything. Man, this place looks so nice. I'm getting crazy Gen 3 vibes. It also just looks... The fact that this is Garen City, right? I believe this would be East Garen City. Uh, well, actually, I don't know because the land isn't split, so this might just be the whole thing, right? But it feels like this would be East Garen City. Hmm? <clears throat> Where could that screen? S someone help me. Okay, that was loud. They must be in the area. Oh, the shifter is hanging up. Oh no. Oh my god, look at the little expression she made. That was adorable. The sprite work in this game is insanely good. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. We got these guys covered. Shift three walked away. And don't bother this lady again or else. You two were amazing. Thank you ever so much. If I weren't lucky enough for all you to be here, I'd shoulder uh, I'd shudder to think about it. Just be more careful next time, especially since it seems like you don't have Pokemon to protect you. You're right. This just never happened before. Pokemon found in these woods are usually so peaceful. But where are my manners? My name is Anathea. So that name I remember the, seeing this name. If I go think back correctly, there was a book in Black Steeple Castle. If you remember the prison, the, the little, sh uh, I think it was a shack or like wherever uh, Brakeson was hiding when we introduced, where we were introduced to her. There was a book with this character's name. You guys may not know, but I actually take notes on all these little things, specifically like names. And her name is there. So she's doing, she's going through some sort of abuse, I guess. She was. I'm not really sure what that means. 
I just know her name was there. <clears throat> I'm Venom, and my friend here is Robbie. Pleasure to meet you both. Please, would you join me at my home? I wish to thank you properly for what you've done. Perhaps a wonderful cake or cupcakes. I'm very skilled at baking. Uh, yes. All you had to do was mention the word food, and I'd be there. Venom's a simple person. Wonderful. My home is just north of here. Please come. She seems nice. You never were able to uh, to order dessert because of Cannon having a tamper tantrum. Let's go see what she has to offer. Yeah. Take a look at my Pokemon. Sure. Type coverage is pretty good. <clears throat> I'm still reeling from this Gen 3 vibe. Can't see the map. Got here from Honan after seven hours of traveling. I'm gonna rest here for a while. Can the map tell us where we are? Nope. Cybernav has no idea where we are. Fair enough. We are in a different time period, so. This moves a different. Sheridan Village. Sheridan's this way. This time I really found four prisons for rare Pokemon. I won't let you interrupt me this time. I'll push you with Did you get lost in the woods as well? That if children get lost in the woods, that they, yeah, you be, you get snatched up by trees and you become a phantom for something. True story. What's the sign say? Theolia household. There are three handprints made of paint printed below the text. That's Indriads. This is the same name as the uh, tower too. No way. It can't be. Robin, is that the mansion we saw in the sewers? Yeah, it is. There's no doubt about it. It's the same one. I remember that place for sure. Nuh-uh. I think I lost my appetite. I'm uncomfortable. Is there something wrong? Uh, no. Wish my front yard was as nice as this, uh, this place. My, my. You sure have an interesting vocabulary, don't you? But thank you for uh, the compliments. This garden means a lot to my husband and I. Husband? Yes, he's waiting for me inside. He'll probably be red as a uh, tomato after he figures out what I uh, that I left home. Are you not allowed to leave? I don't remember her from before. Maybe this is before we ran into Indriad all the way back then? Yeah. In that case, do you think Marionette will still be here? Robin, we know what our Indriad was capable of. We have to be prepared for anything. I have your back. You have mine? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Don't worry, we should be fine. Hmm. This place looks different. Welcome to my abode. This is a pretty damn sweet abode. Get it? Sweet? Anyway, this place looks completely different. Maybe this isn't the same place from before. Yeah, it does look completely different. Your humor can be quite charming. Mommy, mommy, are you finally home? Hmm. 
here she is. Mommy, I knew I heard you. All right, then. The plot thickens. Marionette? Marionette? Close, but the net part is incorrect. This is my daughter, Maria. It's nice to meet you. What? Maria? My pride and joy, my beautiful daughter, Maria. Please, would you entertain our guests to some of, uh, with some of your music? Okay, I got this. I love this song, by the way. All right, so Maria doesn't, obviously she doesn't know who we are because this is, chronologically speaking, this is the first time we met, um, she meets us and would have met her. But when we met in chapter three, Indriad had said something along the lines of, we were there the day something happened to this woman. Like, this lady's gonna die. Um, Indriad pretty much confirmed it. But he said two of us in the room saw it. I think he was talking about my character. And at that time, it would have been my character and himself. So he knew us. But she doesn't know us. So I'm curious as to why she can't remember meeting us in the future. But he could. Obviously, we wouldn't remember because that hadn't happened to us yet. That's also like, there are a couple instances where characters are like, I feel like time is going to start playing a bigger part in the story. Because the eldest, when we first walk into Sheridan Village, says something along the lines of, so they finally reached this place. So she knew who we were before we had even met them. Okay, I got this. Here goes. Is this Relic Song? Wonderful. Bravo. Thank you. I've been practicing almost every day. I love music, Maria. I can sense talent. I gotta say, you've got it. Alrighty. That's enough for today, Maria. It's almost time for tutoring. Got it. I'll be right back. Cute, but tutoring? Isn't she a bit young to be tutored? Oh, you misunderstand. Maria is the one tutoring. Specifically, her best friend. What? It's why Maria is so good with the piano, as mathematics and the piano overlap. You guys are psychopaths. <laughs> Anathea, what is uh, Anathea, what is that racket? Please keep it down. Okay, here he is. That's... Well, he doesn't look anywhere near as edgy as he did when we saw him before. Terribly sorry. I didn't realize we had guests. Vitus, this is Robin and Venom. They saved me from feral Pokemon in the woods. Anathea, you know how I feel about you going out in the woods alone. You know how Pokemon are. They're savage. They're not to be played with. I understand, but I promised I'd make these two desserts as thanks. Very well then. I suppose I can allow this. Why must you insist on accepting trivialities such as this? Wow, that Gardevoir looks pretty... Fuck. Buy this? Gardevoir? Anathea, you must finish your obligations first. Dessert isn't an option right now. Isn't that right, Vitus? Yes, well, if there's work to be done, then it can't be helped. Speaking of work, I have business in town. Do you need anything? Please take Maria to her tutoring sessions down by Costa's place. That's all. Maria, we're leaving now. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm sorry, Prince. Anathea, she's over there. Turn around. <laughs> Princess, but your mother cannot tend to you for now. Okay, mommy. Bye, Gardevoir. I will see. Uh, I will see both of you very soon. Goodbye. I am sorry, Robin. Venom. I don't think I'll be able to fulfill my promise. Don't worry about it. That was kind of awkward, and I wish to go. I understand. I bid. I bid both of you farewell. Thank you once again. She does kind of feel like a prisoner in this house. Hmm. We're tending to the garden so that it stimulates the perfect outdoor experience. Please, don't run in these halls. Hmm. Oh, hello again, Robin. Please forgive me for not being able to fulfill my promise to you. 
That Gardevoir, such a horrid Pokemon. She's scary. And it's because of her that... No, it doesn't matter. That's done with. Robin, do you know the melody that Maria played on her piano? Yeah, it's the Relic Song. It's the same one I play on my flute. The song is called the Relic Song. This song has been passed down my family for generations. Perhaps one day I can teach you this melody. Until then, this is farewell. Is there a Meloetta quest? Access denied. This is Maria's room. Pangoro and Zoro. So that. But this house looks so much different than the one from the intro. That's the thing. Now that I think about it, we we have seen all of them before. We saw them in the intro when Maria got sacrificed. But this isn't the same house. Yo, Robin, over here. That Vitus guy or whatever, that was definitely Indriad. Remember? The guy who tried to kill us? He's walking around this time. Something's bothering me, though he wasn't acting like the guy we knew. I don't know, seemed almost normal, besides that Gardevoir. That was totally strange. The color of that Gardevoir was different. It wasn't shiny or anything, it's just exuded evil. Anyway, you think we should follow him around? I mean, it's dangerous. Could be my partner in crime for a bit? Let's, let's do this. Hell yes, dude. We're gonna make sure this asshole doesn't do anything shady. Anathea said she wanted to take Maria. Uh, she wanted him to take Maria to Kagiran for some tutoring session. The place belongs to someone named Katsu. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yeah, I already know what that is. So the plot is thickening. There are a lot of really weird threads dangling here. The houses are. The house, the two houses look the same. We don't know what the, there are three houses. There's the house from the intro. We don't know what it looks like. There's the house from chapter three. We know what it looks like. And then there's this house. This house kind of looks like the one from chapter three, but it's a little bit different. But you can argue that like the changes over time period could um, verify that um, or validate why it looks different. And then we don't know what the outside of the other house looks like in the intro, but the insides of all three houses look completely different. That's what's... that's strange. Aww. Good day to you, Katsu. Mr. Thuyo, pleasure to have you in my house once again. I brought Maria for Tasia's tutoring session. That much is clear, Mr. Thuyo. Please call me Vitus. Very well, Vitus. That's all. I must ask you to leave. I'm a very busy woman. Sorry, but there's more. Maria, why don't you go to Tasia? There's things I must discuss with Katsu. Okay, I will. I wanted to speak about the manner of how you educate Tasu. With all due respect, Vitus, I don't think it's your business to tell me how to raise my daughter. Pardon my rude behavior, I did not mean to impose. I just suggest that you give her a break every now and then. A child also requires freedom and leisure to succeed. Anastasia is not an ordinary child. She is the genius, and I will not have her waste her potential. Sure, her intellect is high, but her social skills are suffering. That's enough, Vitus. You're pissing me off. Learn your place. Give your daughter all the bricks you want, but when it's time for entrance exams, mine will be on top. You'll see just how well your bricks do for you then. Now, as I've re uh, reiterated many times, I am a very busy woman with an agenda. I don't have time for this, Mr. Boy. If you would go now, that'd be lovely. <sighs> I tried. She's a brick wall. A lost car. Um, Mr. Theolia. Oh, you're, t uh, you're the two children who saved in a theater. Yeah, we overheard it all. Whoops. I suppose you were destined to encounter Katsu's stubbornness one way or another. If it means anything, I'm on your side. Kids need breaks. Unfortunately for uh, Tasia, I don't think that'd be a reality for her. Poor girl. This won't be forever, though. Soon she'll be free of her mother's over overprotective nature. She's also kind of a tiger. It's a bit different between overprotective and a bit heavy handed. Still, it's gonna suck until then. It isn't me. I'm done here. I have a meeting with Mr. Blakery at the Blakery Club. All right. You mind if Robert and I tag along? I suppose there's no harm in that, but I must warn you that this meeting isn't exactly joyous. There's no harm in us being in a meeting with this 
Well, that was a uh, way easier than I thought. Midas seems to be down a, a down-to-earth guy, but what happens to him that turns him into such a huge asswipe? I guess we'll learn soon enough. Let's go. Wait a minute. He said Blakery Coach. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, that's Sakuri's last name. Hi. Uh, hello. You're the child from earlier. Hmm? Don't think I noticed you eavesdropping. I was standing literally right there. My opinion of you is very low. Good day. Fair enough. Kind of a bitch. This whatever. Going through all the data and can confirm that the moon, in fact, does not have a face. Okay, Majora's Mask. Don't bother me right now, I'm busy. These plans are coming together quite smooth. I'm incredibly glad that I have the opportunity to work at such a high-ranking facility. Fair enough. Ah, Mr. Theolio, what brings you back into my establishment? Mr. Blakery, you know why I'm here. I'm here to settle our little dispute. Ah, yes, I see. This is very much an unfortunate predicament. I'm sorry, Mr. Theolio, but I don't plan to change my stance. So is anything going to fill us? Uh, is anyone going to fill us in? What's going on here? Venom, shut up. You and I have no stake in this. Stop talking. It's quite simple. Mr. Theoli here built property he did not own. Built on property he did not own. I purchased the unclaimed territory with plans to expand Kugirin City further. That's ridiculous. I have lived here far longer than the people of Kugirin City. I allowed you to build Kugirin City as long as you didn't dispute, my, uh, disrupt my family's personal life. But I see that doesn't matter to you. There's no respect here. Allowed me? What nonsense is this? I do not, uh, I do not require permission from an off-grid family. In fact, you have no grounds to. I brought this land with my own hard-earned money, Mr. Fioli. I also brought the land your house is currently standing on. Eat my ass, Mr. Blakery. Then shut up. You're really gonna put a family out on the street for something so greedy? But I guess I expected this stuff just coming from a Blakery. You make it seem like... Shut up, Venom! God! My word. I'll have you know what I uh, that I had no such intention. I gave them a deal. Once Kudirin City is expanded, they can own an apartment free of charge. Isn't that a fair trade-off? Fuck, no it's not. I mean, it's not a fair trade, but Venom needs to shut up. I mean, that's a sweet deal, but that's still not. Whatever. We don't accept it. Precisely. I do not intend to move my family anyway. Mr. Theolia, you do not, uh, you do just make things, uh, you just make it, you do just make everything so difficult. Do what you will, but you'll regret this someday. So that's all then? That's all. Well then, we're leaving. You can go back to the mansion without me, Ron. I have to make a quick stop. Well, out with you. No, I'm gonna look around your shit, see if I can steal something. Apparently that's what you like. Like, I understand Venom's point, but it's like, shut up. <laughs> you and I are third parties. We literally shouldn't even be in here. Uh, fuck the cannon. No, he says the same thing. would be a little more relaxing, but it's stressing me out. Don't take what Cannon said to heart. He's really troubled. Just keep an eye on Venom for me, okay? She moves incredibly slower than normal. There's a slower walk cycle than most uh, NPCs. Nostalgic it feels to be back in the past. I was born to become an inconvenience, and am I an inconvenience? I guess. Like, it feels like I'm playing a Gen 3 game. Wait, 
Sniper is Levitate? Or is it just Gengar that doesn't have Levitate anymore? I technically don't have a way to uh, soak up ground type attacks. Uh, I mean, Altaria notwithstanding. That's kind of Area's biggest weakness is the ground type. Like, Steel is a bit easier to play around because I can just send in Ace to deal with Steel types um, offensively. Oh, a young one! What are you doing all the way in here? Turn, I'm trying to catch him up. Oh, I got a uh, double kick for Losi. Losi is uh, pretty good. Really nice utility. Until I get high jump kick. Pokemon is now. Hey, I haven't seen you before. Wait, no. This is super effective. It's a grass one. really think of where I've seen you before. Have you seen me before? Wouldn't be the first time. Save it. Unless there's a healing machine. Right? It's up here. It's, it's up here. That's good. Seems there's a group. Let me say it first. It seems there's a group of people. It certainly took you all long enough to get here. You made sure you all weren't followed, correct? Yes, ma'am. We're clear. Hmm. Are we now? Very well. If you insist. Did she, did she look at me? Did she know I'm there? We weren't clear on this before. What exactly is it that you want us to do? It wasn't clear because the timing was inappropriate. You four are aware of the dispute between the Blakeries and the Theolians, yes? My master Vitus is being too stubborn and refuses to use his power to stop all of this. That admin, uh, not admin, that damn Anathea, she's ruining him. She's ruining everything. So, what does this have to do with our team? I need you to bring, uh, apprehend Vitus. Keep him in captivity. Arrest him? That's what you brought us out here for? This is literally, uh, this is literally our job. You do well to hold your tongue, Ron. I'm very well of your assigned task. Do not get cross with me. I need you to crush Vitus' spirit. I want you to destroy the need to be soft. I want you to I want you for to destroy the marble mansion. Vitus will be the witness to this thing. To this thing. Hold on there. We're police officers, not a demolition team. You don't need to be part of a demolition team to destroy something. You have Pokemon, do you not? We all have Pokemon. That's not really the issue here. If you're afraid of the consequences that, uh, that may follow, don't you have my protection? Besides, that reward is still on the table. Infinite supply of royal crowns, was it? What is the royal crown? Fine, we'll do it, but after this, you don't know each other. Of course. In fact, I don't think you all will ever see me again. Or anything, really. Did they miss that? What? Oh, don't worry. I was just thinking aloud. Nah, y'all heard that. This way, quickly. We shall start immediately. Did they just went in there? There's no reason to be so coy. I'm always open to talking. 
Fair enough. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. A mole. Now what are we going to do with you? You heard everything. This is just a bad case of wrong place, wrong time. It's unfortunate, really. I do appreciate what you've done for Anathea. Really, truly unfortunate. Oh my. So you've chosen to fight back. Very well then. I'll play along. Let's just see what you can do. If you impress me, who knows? I just might let you live. Fair enough. This card will Oh my god, it's a double gun. Ooh, a nice long day. I was gonna say, I got a nice freeze out of the gate. And My, my, you do possess some amount of strength. I'm impressed, but I'm sorry to say that it's futile. While we had our little encounter, the plan has been put into motion. Even still, I cannot have you interfering. Sleep now, my child. Yeah, I hit with Dark Void? Is Robin not here yet? I haven't seen them, no. Uh, uh, I haven't seen them, no. Were they supposed to be here? Weird, I told Robin to meet me here, but whatever. Knowing them, they're off doing some side quests or something. You're not making any sense. Anyway, <laughs> no, doing some side quests or something, that's funny. Anyway, I came up with a plan to disrespect Mr. Uh, Mr. Blakery. The way we walked over us, uh, the way he walked over us in that office was inexcusable. I do not, uh, I'm not about to, I'm not about disrespecting anyone. Just hear me out. I've got these three rolls of toilet paper, right? We're gonna TP his establishment. We're gonna let him know that he's the shit and we're here to wipe, Venom, please. You have several problems that must be addressed one day. Yeah, she does. Yeah. What the hell was that? Alright, what's going on here? Mr. Breaker has placed charges on you and Mr. Theolia. You're placing charges on us? What did we do? Apparently, you all barged in his office and threatened him. He believes that his personal well-being is at stake. Following this apprehension, we'll begin the demolition of this illegal household as well. Demolition? My wife and child live in this establishment. You cannot. Arrest me. Do what you will, but spare this child and my family. Orders are orders, and we're being pressed to follow you. Please. Come closer, I dare you. I'll be difficult, too. All right, Venom. I like that look. My snake will tear you all apart, so be my guest. Are you resisting arrest? In that case, Venom, please stop. But I can't. Just I can't just let this happen. This is injustice. Let's just go peacefully. We'll get through this. Mr. Fioli. Why? Please, I must at least ask for you to wait until Mr. Blakery and I discuss this once more. I hate that I have to just sit here and do nothing. Think of what about Anathea, dude? Venom, I'm going to ask you to do something that may get you in a vast amount of trouble. I'm not going to let these hooligans take my house away from my family. Just look for my single. Got it. Tangro, power wood. Now! Oh, shit. Vitus, is something happening? What's with all the noise? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What just happened? Anathea! Get out of my way! I, I didn't I didn't know there was someone still inside. You fucking idiot! It's a house! People live in houses! You just showed up here and evicted us without asking any questions! All because Mr. Blakery, yet again, showed off his supreme greed! N no, this wasn't actually an order from Mr. Blakery. W what are you talking about? You just said it was someone else. Someone unrelated. Fantastic. Marvelous. 
You've all done very well. To think you would have failed at your job, but as a result, did something far more useful. Anathea was nothing but a virus in this household. Now that she's out of the way, Vitus can do what he is uh, what he was always destined to. I am eternally grateful. Let me be a proper host and give you your, uh, your just reward. Forget the agreement. We're out of here. Agreement? I can't seem to recall such a thing. Gardevoir, you bitch. Did you set this up? I don't think you should be focusing your strength on me. Perhaps you should do something more productive like finding your friend. Oh my god, this Gardevoir. M Maria? You're still not waking up. How careless of you. There are people patrolling the area. They're guarding the, uh, they're guarding, well, you. I can't save you, just yet. I ask that you accept this selfish favor and wait for me to finish things. Until that's done, farewell. I'll put my training to the test. What's going on? Robin? Robin? Robin, you've got to open your eyes. That's it. You're waking up now. Just a bit more. Oh. I finally found you. There were so many of these people guarding you. Do you understand how many people I had to go through to get here? I was... I was so... Worried? Yeah. Yeah, I was worried. There, I said it. Oh, Venom, give me a hug. You can't just hold that over me, though, since I admitted it. Anyway, now that I found you, I gotta tell you something. Anathy is dead. Shit. God of War plotted behind the scenes and indirectly got her killed. I'm assuming you ran into God of War before all this, right? Yeah. Thought so. Everything's all, uh, everything that's happening. I just... We should've just dropped, uh, we should just drop this. Find Melia and just dish this time. This is way too, uh, this is way beyond all of us. We know, we know what Vitus is capable of. I just feel bad for Anathea. She didn't deserve it. Let's just forget it and go back to Garen. I don't think that's the right play, man. Pardon. Where's the go to? Thrash too. Can I go this? Probably shouldn't go this way. Man, this this story is getting really good. M Maria, no. Uh, I should probably go. going on here? Where's Maria? We don't know where Maria is. That's the problem. I left Maria to study with Anastasia so that I could, oh it's Anastasia, so that I could finish my own work. The next thing I hear is Anastasia uh, crying herself with Maria nowhere to be found. Find him. Anastasia, do you know what happened to Maria? M Maria, she was, she was taken. Anastasia, what do you mean she was taken? By whom? We're friends of Maria, too. We want to help her, so please explain what happened. Maria and I were studying when suddenly this Pokemon appeared out of thin air. It was fucking Gardevoir, wasn't it? Suddenly, she just grabbed Maria and they vanished. Taken by a Pokemon? That has to be Gardevoir. I couldn't, it, I couldn't do anything. It all happened so fast. You useless child. Why didn't you just tell me this earlier? Don't yell at me. Yo, you suck at being a parent, Katsu. How dare you? Katsu. Don't run away from me. She's actually a shit parent. Chasing after them would be a waste of time. We got our info. Robin, I know I just said that we should drop this and not get involved, but we can't just let her be taken like that. We know what happens to her if, she le if she's left with Vitus. If, anything, if, if any of that was even real, I'm going back to the Marble Mansion and I'm going to do all I can. You don't have to come with me. In fact, I understand completely if you choose not to. 
this is too dangerous, but God damn it, I'm not going to be able to sleep at night if I don't at least try. So yeah, I've made up my mind. Yeah, let's, I mean, see what he does. That is really fucked. Oh, damn. These doors flew all the way over here. That Tangrove was not playing around with that power whip. Really, Venom? That's what you gotta say. Robin, you actually came to help? Where else would I go? What? Thanks. Anathea, I didn't know her well, but I feel so shitty about this whole thing. Gardevoir is in this mansion somewhere. We should team up and explore. This place looks like it's massive. Let's leave no stone unturned. Yeah. Hey Robin, remember Vitus and Gardevoir came out of those do uh, those two doors? I bet everything that they're uh, I bet everything that they're back through those doors. We should check the doors if they're locked. Then it's practically confirmed. Yep, locked. They're back there being cowards. God damn it! There's got to be a key to this door somewhere. Maybe we should. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Wh what? Did you say something, Robin? No, that wasn't me. Beyond these doors. Well, I was beyond these doors. Okay, that wasn't you, but I definitely heard something. M Maria? Huh. All right. Pers okay. A Anathea? Huh? Wait, what's going on? What's happening? Anathea, I don't mean to drop a bomb on your life, or lack thereof, really. Oh, well, she thought it. She didn't say it. But you died. You were hit head on by a tank girl's power whip. No, I remember. I remember too well. I just don't understand why I'm conscious. I'm supposed to be dead. Gone from this world. Please, do you guys know where Maria is? Unfortunately, Gardevoir has her right now. Gardevoir? Where is she? Well, my theory was that she's behind those two doors there. There's a problem, though. They're locked and we have no idea how to unlock them. I was never allowed inside of Vitus' study, but what is he hiding in there? I wonder. I mean, couldn't you just phase through the door right now and find out? Dunno, but Robin and I are going to find out. Do you know where they key, uh, where the, uh, they key? Uh, the key is? <laughs> no, but there must be a spare key somewhere. But I, he won't. <laughs> she lost her form. She disappeared. Damn, talk about bad timing. I was hoping she'd give us more info. What's even more confusing is why was she even manifest herself like that? Wait, this is what Urban was talking about. You know what that soul stone? Is it possible the soul stone was allowed was able to grab her soul and allowed her to remain in this world? So she died well before I even got here. That's weird. In which case, that's cool, but it can't be helped. The plan's uh the plan's the same as the soul. Let's find the key and end this. Anathea will see the truth. Oh, 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 we have guests during this time? Sorry, but you're not invited. Don't worry, we know. We don't need an invite to crash a party. Hmm, <laughs> so the maids are in on it too. Fair enough. She sent out one Pokemon against the robot? Then I'm still using the same charge. You awful children. Next time you stop us like that, I'll dropkick you into the next uh, dimension. Trust me, we've been there. I thought uh, we got rid of all the annoying children in this mansion. That's clearly not true if you're sitting here like that thing's happening. Be useful and tell us for the extra key to the study. Let me make, uh, let's make a deal about a battle. Let's make a deal. How about we battle? If you win, I'll let you know a little secret. That's what I like to hear. I lost? How disappointing. You sent out an indie. That's all you did. Cough up the info now. <sighs> you won the game, so I guess that's quite alright. In four rooms in this mansion, there are four statues depicting Meloetta. These statues can be rotated. If all the Meloa statues are set in a way where they are all facing each other, a door may open. Okay, then we'll try it out. No, we have to all face 
against each other. So do I make these two face each other? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Right. Anathea isn't allowed to leave the building lately. The Pokemon outside are becoming so much more violent. I mean, she's dead, so she won't be leaving ever again. to face each other. Maybe I face them north and south? Check first. Hmm. Not really sure. So do I make them I mean, facing each other didn't work. But if they all face this each other, four ones in this mission are four functions to take no water. These statues can be rotated if all the metal statues are set in a way where they're all facing each other, a door may open. How does that... But there's no way that could happen because they're in the square. Do I make one square? Because... Can I connect? So I make this one face this one. Yeah, that's what I needed. It needed to be a square. That's what it was. Okay. We got them all set up. But I don't think anything happened. Let's go check some of the rooms in the main room. The Pokemon is in this Pokemon. Do you want to take it with you? And then... I'd rather have a Pokemon with a fairy turn. It's a family portrait. Wait, no. Something's wrong with it. Mad genius, Robin. A key even popped out of this painting. Alright, I'll just take this and test out the doors downstairs. Pretty simple. doors over here. Oh. I wonder if we did it in reverse then. Let's see what happens if we do it in reverse. If there's like a secret option. 
this one goes this way. The one up north faces down, and the one northeast face. Didn't seem like anything was open, did it? No. I guess these doors just can't be open. Oh well. Save it. Seeing this, Robin? There's one officer, uh, and the other three are nowhere to be found uh, with the magma fit. God of War and Injury had really got rid of the other ones. We should lay low and be quiet. Let's we'll see what's going on here first. This is so creepy. He's doing that ritual garbage he did back at the mansion. Oh no. You all may have once known me as Vitus the Olio, the man who gave you all second, uh, a second chance at life, a true purpose. This man has left us today. Thus a new being, uh, a new being is born, one that has ascended the limitations of a human. I am Indria. There it is. God damn it. Yeah, we, uh, this didn't, we didn't do a good job here. A grave sin was committed today in my very own home, the Marble Mansion. An officer sent by Thomas Blakery tried to silence me, to remove me. The one that stands before us is the one who took away the woman I loved. Anathea Theolia, my sweetest dear Anathea, I tried to protect you from the evils from the outside, but in my hubris, I have allowed you to slip through the cracks and escape my clutches. Do not worry, Indriad. Arceus shall take her and protect her now. Let the ceremony begin. Osseus, Caprendum Gagarisium Orugama. What? Okay. <laughs> and there she goes. It is done. Her body and soul has been cleansed. Now let us introduce a new member into our ranks. Come forth, Cannon. Cannon? What is Cannon doing down here? Oh, for the love of. You've got to be shitting me. Thank you for welcoming me here, sir. You two have been this uh you two have seen the evil this world brings forth. Is this your reason for joining? This is it, sir. I wish to protect the people I love. That is my goal. There's no harm in that. It is a wish we all want. It is a noble thing to wish for. Security, friendship, perhaps love. No ma'am. It's about it's not about a dishonest one. You lie to us and to yourself. Be it as it may, we'll entrust you with a very important task. This will bridge our trust in each other. Take this. This is it is an orb that has a very powerful explosion compact inside. A blast that is capable of ruining kingdoms. Destructive. An explosive device. What do uh what do or rather where do you want me to use this? Hugarin City has been a plague to this earth since its construction. Take this orb there, crush it, and the entire city will be engulfed in its blast. Hugarin City will be destroyed? What about the people who reside there? They will all die painlessly. It's a necessary step for us to succeed. This is an interesting, if not a tad bit funny. I fail to see what's so humorous about this. The hilarity comes from your stupidity. Okay, so... It's just like the woman in, ma in the mask said. Mm -hmm. You all were up to no good. The lady in the mask? What are you bothering on about, or blathering on about? She appeared to me months ago. She told me that you all were the cause of the future destruction of this world. The horrors that I and many other people had to endure. I'll never let them experience that. So what you're saying is that you wasted our time. You can see it that way. Either way, prepare to be obliterated by my power. <laughs> this is very unfortunate. Yes, very unfortunate. I saw potential in you. But potential means nothing if it's not used. Be gone. No, Salamis, but how? Truly pitiful. Cannon! Cannon is an example of what happens if you dare betray us. Any further insolence shall be given the same punishment. No questions asked. Hmm. Who will be brave enough to rise to the occasion and fulfill our mission? 
I would like to fulfill that task. Please allow me to. Good. The mission shall be carried out exactly as described before. Once the orb is crushed, you will be warped back to safety. Understood. I shall make my way there now. Finally, we shall punish the final offender. No. Please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. What do we do? Save that man or do we save Maria? Do we have time to do both? Anathea, you're back. Maria is in danger. We can't leave her here any longer. I understand what you're saying. But we can't let that other man die here. Yeah, what he did was disgusting, but he should live a uh, lift to the He should live to man up and go to jail. If he dies, then it's all over for him. But if we leave Maria alone, Robin, you need to help me here. What should we do? Obviously, saving Maria is the more important option here. But I really don't think letting that guy die is the, the smart thing to do. I mean, we could try and split up. I'll see. If, I'll get, save the officer and see if like that can compel her to split up, and she goes save Maria, and I go save the officer or something like that. Yeah, what he did was shitty. But burning alive like that is totally inhumane. What about Maria? I didn't forget about Maria. I'll go get her while Robin takes care of the officer. Yeah, see, thank you. That's what I wanted. How does that sound? Very well. Please untie me. Thank you so much. I owe you my life. Are they just not going to look and like, interact with the fact that I just freed this guy? If you thought you were all under my radar, you're sadly mistaken. It seems we have a few rats running about. What's so important about this human? He was committed to a great he has committed a grave sin and must be held accountable. Please, I want to atone for my sins. I will gladly turn myself in. Just let me go. Stop being childish. This is your atonement. Out of respect of our prior battle, I will I shall allow you to leave. But the man stays here. Please don't leave me. Uh, please don't leave me here with them. I refuse. What do you think you'll happen if you don't leave? If I let you go before, but this time I won't be so kind. Be a smart person and leave. I know what I've done is wrong, but this is cruel. I said I'm going to turn myself in. I'm not leaving you. Do you think this is a joke? If one isn't left behind, both of you will be eliminated. Robin, leave me. Stop. Uh, Robin, Robin won't leave me. Stop trying to convince me. I won't have time for this. This is my final offer. Leave alone. I won't budge. Robin, you're as stubborn as, uh, as you are idiotic. If you want to bask in oblivion, then so be it. I am more than happy to grant you that wish. Sorry, but oblivion is something we're just not interested in. Is that a mega Charizard? You're an evil witch, Gardevoir. As long as I'm here, you won't get to do what you please. And what exactly changes with you here? Absolutely nothing. You'll just meet the same fate as everyone else who dares get in Master Indriad's way. Charizard, heat wave. How embarrassing. Damn it, Charizard. I know I'm not Amber or Tesla, but if you don't listen, then you'll be destroyed too. Just suck it up and use Heat Wave to generate a smoke screen. Come on! Do not frustrate yourself over trivial matters such as them. We'll see them again soon enough. Correct. Robin, Venom, I will have my revenge. You all saved me from the wretched Pokemon. I'm going to report this to the chief down in Spotlight City. Is that I won't forget this we failed to save Maria but there was nothing that could be done she was trapped in this indestructible crystal what could we do we'll get another chance this I believe uh, this I believe I'm horrified by the events here but we must think of Kagirin Vitus's follower is on the way to destroy it she must be stopped shit I totally forgot about that maid I hope it's not too late and Cannon was destroyed by Gardevoir how am I gonna explain this to Melly and Ervin Robin it's clear to me that you and Venom were special children. I only ask for one thing. Please, don't let Maria suffer. Please save her. Help me save my darling daughter, Maria. My consciousness is fleeting once again. When I, I, when I will awake, I cannot say. But I know, I, I know, I know that I will meet again, Robin. Oh, oh man. This is getting crazy. 
Oh, cannon! Why am I facing this way? Isn't that... But it can't be cannon. Cannon, can you hear me? Wake the hell up. Ugh. Huh? Uh, what am I doing here? I thought I was... Obliterated. Yeah. But look at you now. Not even a scratch. Care to explain what hap uh, what that's about? That isn't true. I have been scratched. My Salamence is truly gone for good. It was, I was destroyed. It's true, but I was suddenly came into what one called Oblivion. But there was, uh, there she was again. The lady in the mask. She reached out to me and grabbed my hand. She told me she could save me, but only me. The price of my life, uh, my new life, would be Salamence's demise. You're not making any sense, but I believe you. You guys do, but the proof is in the pudding. We don't have time to wallow in self-pity. Does he mean Madame X? Madame X is like the only lady in a mask we know. Because you weren't able to do the job of destroying Kagiri, God of War hires someone else. We have to stop her at all costs. You with us? Yes, yes. You're right. We have to keep fighting, even without silence. Besides, if Kagiri City is destroyed, that would mean Melia's death too. She's done so much for me. I refuse to let her die. Good answer. Robin, Cannon, let's save Kagiri City. Alright. This is... Things are ramping up to 11, dude. That poor family's life got destroyed. There's no sight of her anywhere. This is perfect. Kagirin City is very large. I'm not even sure where to begin. Let's think for a second. Perhaps we should split up. We can cover more ground that way. I'd be more for that if we still had Salamis, but... I suppose if I do find her, there won't be much of a difference. Okay, choose a direction. We'll take it where, we, uh, where we're going. West, I guess. All right, west it is. Get to it, guys. I don't see her anywhere. We must be going the wrong way. Let's pick another place to look and let's go. There, I crushed it. The plan was successful. I'm ready to be transported back to base. What's going on? Why aren't I? No. No! Oh no. I don't think you realized how much trouble you are. You created so many problems. Problems that, I, uh, that I've had to solve myself. Do you know where we are? You have no idea, correct? <laughs> I've laid out everything but you. You continue to change everything. Because of, this because of this ability to change, I've saved you countless times. All because you're so important to everything. So important, but so careless. But why are you so important? Who are you? Why are you interfering with everything? Trying to get an answer out of you is futile. I don't think you know the answer yourself. I want to fix this one again. This time, you'll need to do it right. We have work to do, Robin. So much work. Let's wind it back. Another pick. Let's wait. <laughs> this is I'm trying. Wait. Wrong. The gone. Must have. We. Anywhere. Her. See. Don't. I. No sight of her anywhere. This is just perfect. Kagirin City is very large. I'm not even sure where to begin. Let me think of a sec. Perhaps we should split up. We can cover more ground that way. I'd be more 
I would be more for that if you still had Salamence, but I suppose if I do find her, there won't be much of a difference. Blake Rico. Blake Rico. That would make sense after all. You're right. Let's head over there now. We don't have a moment to wait. Yeah, we, we better fucking hustle. Hey, guys. I was just looking for you all. Yeah, we don't have time to stop. No time. Come with us. And just what do you think you're doing? Huh? How? How did you all catch up to me like this? And how is that boy alive? Gardevoir passed her judgment to this child. Don't know. Don't, uh, don't know? Don't care. Hand over the orb right now. What do you mean this one? Yeah! Nice, Cannon. Yes, that one. Thank you for your compliance. Nice one, Cannon. It was just that simple. You wretched children. I won't stand for it. Give the orb back to me this instant. I got this. Nice save, Cannon. Yeah, you can leave now. I'm gonna report this to a Gar uh, Gardevoir and Master Indriad. Just you wait. Huh? You are? You're gonna tell them you failed. That's a pretty brave considering what they did to Cannon for his insolence. Uh, huh? Do you really think that's gonna fly well? I personally don't think so. If I were you, I forget this ever happened and move on. Or maybe you like being blown to bits. It's in the matter of milliseconds. One second thought. I think I'm gonna move very far away and become a baker. Yes, now, doesn't that sound splendid? I agree. Yes, I'll be on my way. Good luck as a baker, asshole. Right? Tell her fucking Venom. Can someone explain what's going on? I'm very confused. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of shit happening. About ten minutes of awkward explaining from Cannon, Robin, and Venom later. <laughs> yeah. I believe that's just the gist of it. So basically, Cannon's holding on to a ticking time bomb. Yes. Get that thing out of the city already. If that thing goes boom, then I don't even want to think about it. We would if we knew how. I don't exactly feel comfortable with it being here either. Irvin may know what to do with this. Irvin is knowledgeable on many things. It may be possible. Sure, let's go see if what Irvin has to say about this. Just don't, uh, just don't you dare drop that thing on the way. And thus we came. Uh, we've come here to ask if you knew what to do with it. Well, I've examined this thing, and it seems to be chock full of psychic energy. As long as it remains intact, it should be safe. Professor, we already knew that. We want to know how to get rid of it safely. I guess I'll pass a support. I'll post a support ticket. Support ticket? What is this? Customer service? Whenever I have an issue here, this, that is beyond me. I contact Spacia and Tiampa via support ticket at their lodge. This would get solved by them, I'm sure. As for now, I'll keep the orb in my possession. It's been a long day. You all should rest now. He seems to care so much about all this. I think it's more that he doesn't like interacting with Spacey and Tiempa. Be it as it may, he's right. We should slow down and rest in the meantime. I'll be off to my room. That's just it then? Yeah, the duo will take care of everything from this point. Kind of anticlimactic, but it'll do. After all that venom, I can use a break. That shit got crazy for a second. I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep. You look forward to any kind of sleep. Hey, that isn't a crime, yeah? Guess not. Hmm. Hey, Robin, we're gonna take it easy for the rest of the day. Wanna settle down for the night? Yeah, me too. 
After what you guys went through, I imagine you're as, uh, you are as well. Yeah, time to go to bed. Sometime after midnight. Salamis, I'm sorry. I won't be irresponsible like that again. I'll make new partners and for my mistakes, I'll do better. Suppose I should just get ready for bed. It's late. A visitor at this hour? Yes, come in. I'm Saloy. Hello? I said you may come in. Is anyone there? What's going on? If I'm being pranked, I can't say that I appreciate it. Listen, I... <laughs> what happened to Cannon? He's gone. Oh dear, this is troublesome. What's wrong, Irvin? You've been staring at that piece of paper for a while now. And Denny found this on Cannon's bed. It's a letter. It's not from Cannon himself. Who else could have been then? It's from Spacey and Tiempa. They took Cannon and the explosive ore. What? Why would they do such a thing? Let me read out loud. Uh, read out the letter. Dear Irvin, we've decided your request. Uh, we just we received your request and are delighted to see that things are moving nicely. As a test for Venom and Robin, we've taken Canem and the Explosive Ore. Wait, why me? Why the two of us specifically? They have been safely relocated to West Girin in the present time. If Canon is not rescued within the next few days, the Orb will explode. Robin and Venom will take this test to become official members of our group, as they are not official members. They are not allowed to uh, know the classified info that they have been presented. Failure to succeed will result in their memories of this time being wiped, as well as a tough penalty for Melia for allowing outsiders. We've arranged another member of our group to aid, to aid them in this quest. What the? I thought it was okay for us to be here. There aren't any rules against bringing in friends. This is too, uh, too convenient. Those two are pulling this new rule out of thin air. I must admit that I have not been made aware of this myself. And what did, uh, did she mean by arranged another member to assist us? I'm gonna guess that she meant me. Karina. Okay, so she's in on all this. What are you doing here? Venom? Robin? I didn't expect to see you here. And Melia, you, see, uh, you seem to be doing well. Compared to the last time, at least. You knew that Karina was part of this, too? I've only met her a couple times, but yeah. I never said anything because, uh, because it was against the rule of the house. Got a letter last night saying to report back, so here I am. I'd really like to take care of this soon. I have something to take care of back in West Gearing. According to this letter, you are to assist Robin and Venom in rescuing Cannon, who is currently in West Gearing. It also should be noted that he is a highly explosive old, uh, object on him that will detonate in a couple days. What? There's already enough issues happening in West Gearing, and now on top of that, there's an explosive? And, the top, and, and to add on top of that, those two space idiots decided to, that saving an entire city should be left up to three kids? Am I the only one, am I the only sane one around here who notices that this is a little insane? No, this shit's wild. <laughs> but here we are. We're so far down the rabbit hole that it doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> hey, we've been through a lot, thank you. We're perfectly capable of doing this. If we don't, they'll wipe Robin and Venom's memory of this place. And why am I supposed to care about that? And I, and I mean no disrespect to you, Robin. I'm grateful for what you did at the Amethyst Cave for me. But this is bigger than all of you. I'm going to be the one who takes care of this. I'm going to grab some of my stuff. What did I do for her? I think she meant the thing with that. The gang war? I got like a hound dog from that. Upstairs and head out. Don't try and stop me. Talk about a huge fucking ego. She has a point, but we could have just tagged along and acted as backup. Instead, she wants to go high and mighty. What a waste of space. I'm not leaving it at that. We're going on on this mission. I'm not one for conflict or confrontation. Space and Tiempa may have been picked, uh, may have picked Karina very well, knowing that she would act this way. I suppose this would be this, uh, step one of the mission. I understand. We've gotten stronger. We can handle this. You got a plan? Yep. God damn it, you scared me. What are you doing? We're not gonna have you stop us from doing what we have to. Is that right? What are you people gonna do about it? I'm confident that I'm stronger than all three of you. You sure about that? Even if it were true, we don't need strength to beat you. And why is that? Because we have the power of foul play. Yeah, get her ass! 
Lock the door. <laughs> Get her ass. <laughs> Rule number one of the Amberette House. Destruction of the property is forbidden and won't be tolerated. So unless you uh, want a penalty, I should just stay, you stay in that room and we let you out later. So sit, white, uh, sit tight while we take care of things, sweetie. You're wasting your time, you idiots. West Garen is under lockdown, which means there's no one going in or out. I like to see you try and fix things without getting, uh, even getting the chance to do it. Well, now that, uh, now that, that, now that that's settled, let's get out of here and make our way to Garen Woods. While the woods. There's a quick way back to Garen City there. I'll show you guys. All right. Um. Hmm. What's the game plan once we get back to East Garen City? Karina said West Garen City was under lockdown, which means it's gonna be real difficult. But if I remember from what I was, uh, from when I was in Gearing, she had a boat, right? Yeah, well, I hope you know how to drive one. Uh, I'm sure they have those automated uh, navigation systems or something. Besides, even if I didn't, even if it didn't, I'm sure it's not that hard. I know Tesla's yacht has one, but that's a yacht. Well, we'll figure it out once we get there, right? Oh, shit. Rule number one. Sometimes you have to bend over or even break the rules to win. They got flung. All right. Room three. Alright, sweetheart. You said you were stronger than all of us. So let's put that to the test. Pokemon can't be poisoned. Get back. Grand bull. Yeah. The final. The final. You said you were stronger than all three of us, right? Stronger than all three of them. Y'all heard her say that, right? Stronger than all three of us. than all three of us. What? Why? When did you get so strong? Because I've been putting in that work. Where the fuck did Melly go? She just disappeared. I, I lost. Are you stronger than me at this point? I've been training far longer than you have. Because I've been putting in that work. That's why. Well, you may be better at battles, but let's just see how you fare against me in a physical combat. Bro, Cinderace. Let's, let's, and fight my Cinderace. Take a pyro ball to the mouth. Did she just aura sphere her? Rule number two. Don't take your eyes off any of the enemies. Let's, uh, lest you get hit directly in the back with an aura sphere. Gen is most likely in the West Gear and Sewers. There's been a report of something wrong going down there. But the city locked down. Not at all. It's the only place I can see him. Thanks for the tip. Just leave this to us. Well, number three, don't put objects in your back pocket on the off chance you fall on your side. Man, <laughs> because it may result in painful ass syndrome. <laughs> she fucking fell on her keys. Will you get up? Don't be so silly. Fine. Anyway, that was awesome, Robin. You really have gotten strong in a small amount of time. It's admirable. I'm cool too. No, you're the one on the floor. Let's get to Kagiran Woods already. 
Um, I'm actually going to end the episode right here before we interact with them. Uh, uh, actually, we'll, we'll talk. It's through here. Just tug on this vine that's hanging in. This vine pushes, uh, pushes some of the branches away. There's a small little grove here now. Let me guess, there's another crystal in the little grove? Yeah, and at least the East Garen City. I'm just wondering where in the world this crystal would even be. I've been through every corner in East Garen, and I've never seen anything like that. Good, it's supposed to be hidden, remember? If anyone only, uh, if anyone could just walk up on it, that'd be a pretty big problem, don't you think? Perhaps. Let's go. We probably don't have much time. Instead of going in here... Okay, so it's a teleport crystal back to the present. There's one more thing I wanted to do. It's important. So the apartment key actually allows us to view another scene of leg points. Kind of like the one with um, Anju. Robin inserted the key and uh, Robin inserted and turned the key. The door opened up. Hmm. Floor. There's a PC in here. Psychic page. Hmm. Toys. What is this place? That looks like Angie. It's a doll of someone. Their eyes are torn out of their face. It's a doll of someone. Their entire body has been stabbed multiple times. And their face has been burned off. This looks like April. This looks like Angie. Anju. Angie. Whichever one. Is that Kita? It's a stone sculpture of someone. What the fuck is this place? A strange symbol has been drawn on the board with chalk. Looks to be strange writing written on the board with chalk. Where are we? Hmm. It's a map of Avium. Post Calamity. There are markers for Sheridan Village and Grand Dream City on it. It's a notebook that has an extensive amount of filled pages. But wait, hold on. It says it's a uh, pre-calamity. Uh, oh, post-calamity. Wait, what? It's a map of Avium post-calamity. There are markers for Sheridan Village. Why would this be here? So I guess someone from the future put this place here, but nobody talked about this. It's a notebook, fill uh, notebook that has an extensive amount of filled pages. Read it. Meet, ex uh, meet Extensionalist Whom Hart. What? To the person reading this, this notebook was meant for you. I have studied the heart of humans and Pokemon for a very long time. <clears throat> the heart I refer to is not the physical one, but the spiritual one. You may even refer to it as the soul. You may, as, uh, you may have come across Pokemon with closed hearts. These are called Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon feel nothing but the desire to hurt and destroy truly and utterly soulless beings. These Pokemon are known for attacking Pokemon and humans alike. Fortunately, a process known as purification was created to reopen the hearts of shadow Pokemon. This created the possibility of redemption for Pokemon thought to be too far gone. Too far gone, ah yes. I've come across beings far worse than shadow Pokemon. Beings completely devoid of every emotion excluding hatred. I think I shall call these Pokemon Dimensional Rift Pokemon. These beings are Pokemon that have their inner darkness amplified to its maximum potential. The, uh, the, this emotion implodes within the Pokemon. This allows the Pokemon to gain circular fo uh, orb form. Although this is the first form they take, it is their dormant form in this form. They cannot do much. However, when provoked, the Pokemon can morph into their true body. Born from hatred, of course. This is when a being like no other appears. It is very, very difficult to revert them back at this state. <laughs> but what should we? It is then when, when they are it is then when they are the most vulnerable. Their body is the literal manifestation of their heart and soul. It is this form that they are able to purify them back into their original being. 
The process isn't too complicated either. You may not understand it, but some will. Take this book. Follow these instructions. Uh, follow these directions. I get it's really uh, complicated from here on out, but this seems very important. Yeah. Weird diary. A new timeline has been created. This action has affected the future. Really? Hmm. Stone sculpture of someone. Looks like Kita. Hmm. Talk to everything I can. See if something else happens in here. Doesn't seem like anything else. A strange symbol has been drawn on the porch. Okay. This room is weird. I'm not sure what its what its purpose is. Back to uh, <clears throat> the present. This was a crazy trip to the past. Oh, my Pokemon are like trash. Let me go heal up. It's been a crazy trip to the freaking past. I, I I love everything that just happened. Like stories getting super good. This is weird. like I I like the whole Team Zen thing, but it was getting kind of like crazy, uh, repetitive with them. But it's it's finally cool to get back with bad guys that are like not tied to that uh, Team Zen plotline. Like, I mean, Madame X was here, but like, aside from that, and obviously Angie was tied to them, but I just like this, all right? This, this story was cool. So we're in the abandoned sewers. All right. We're in the abandoned sewers. Has this always been here? According to Irvin, this is a popular spot for storm chasers to come at this time. I don't understand. The crystal in Kugirin City and Kugirin Woods are close. Kugirin City and Valor Mountain are extremely far apart. Wouldn't it make more sense if we were somewhere close to Valor? That's true. Maybe distance doesn't matter. I'm saying the location probably doesn't matter. It isn't a matter of distance. It's a matter of which crystal is linked, if that makes sense. If the crystals were linked up, that means your location isn't a factor in where you eventually end up. So technically, we could use, we could use, we could use these crystals to travel uh, places faster. I suppose you could look at it that way, sure. Well, that's neat. Yep, it's been a while, but Karina's face is just upstairs. Yeah, and our boat is hanging out by the docks there, too. Awesome. Let's go. Uh, okay. Oh, man. Remember when we were just starting out when we were in here? Alright. Uh, yeah. Guess... This has been a long episode, so we're going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, because I know I did, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and stay tuned for more as Pokemon Rejuvenation continues.